Where did I put that X kryptonite? I swear I left it over here. I'm not really sure exactly. Oh man, dang. Anyways, we back! It's not like we left. We like the DOD. We ain't going anywhere just yet. <laughs> BG4 and E are here. Yes, we are, y'all. We're back in this building. What's going on? I know you guys missed us. We missed you. What's going on? We've got a couple of few episodes left right here. A couple of few. That's right. A couple of few. Because uh, in a few days, just be a couple of us guys right here. Yeah. You might see some surprises. With maybe no more show. Who knows? Yeah. I mean, they're setting things up for the possibility. Man, I hope, I hope that they, you know, come with a you know um second you know season you mm -hmm. know um because i enjoyed this show i like it you know what i mean um even even the whiner baby you know what i mean i can't stand a whiner baby or whatever but i like i like where the show is going and i like where um where the character development is building to so i wouldn't want this show to go you know what i mean i don't want it to be on the seat i don't want it to go full cw though but I don't want it to to leave the air. I don't want it to be like Black Lightning and then just gone. I don't want it to be like the Flash. You don't want it to go full retard. Yeah, I don't want it to be. You like don't want it to go full retard. He didn't <laughs> want to say it, but I'll say it. Thank you, full retard. <laughs> For real, I need this show to be around. You know, I enjoy watching this every Tuesday. It's a good show. It's definitely one of the better shows on the CW. I have my ups and downs with it but i can have my ups and downs with any show yeah but let's go ahead and get into this episode 14 right here let's get it they had us wait uh what another one two weeks again yeah man yeah uh the, this just wait long this, is, is this annoying is an interesting though. situation i'm gonna hit up more on that after the the final episode of this season okay but you almost i'm gonna say you almost right because you said Winer baby was going to become a villain. Yeah, I, I, I called it. I, he was going to become a villain. I called we, it. we haven't necessarily seen it yet, but it, it's, it's really, coming. really it's crazy. Coming. It's, it's coming. really, really crazy. Especially since we got him becoming a villain, but he's not really the villain. It's Morgan Edge's father has taken over his body. Tauro's father. And even before that, Morgan Edge is no longer Morgan Edge. He's, He's now the eradicator, which is weird. There's there's a lot of things going on here that that seem very very awkward and weird, but they're they're working for this season. And the eradicator is one of the things where I'm looking at it and I go, <laughs> why? <laughs> does it does it does he have to become the eradicator, or could there? really have been some other way for it to actually take place i'm i'm still not convinced about it but it's what we got and he's out and he's stronger than ever he's no longer he, i guess we could just say it he ain't morgan edge anymore nah. morgan edge is just completely gone yeah and he's still out there finding folks and turning them into kryptonians so are these people now full-blown kryptonians because their bodies have been taken over which is weird to me though how how is he turning people into kryptonians before you needed the machine to turn people into kryptonians you needed the machine to to the the, the uh, ex kryptonite to do it now he could just do it just like that like a thanos well, the machine was 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 there essentially as a, as a catalyst as a power to actually get them now what it seems is that he's absorbed the catalyst based on this image here he's gone hiding behind the sun and now he's absorbed so much power, he doesn't need the machine anymore. And he's able to go on ahead and essentially eradicate what was the person's consciousness or being and then replace it with one of those Kryptonians. Kryptonians yep. That's, that's crazy to me how that, how that works. You know what I mean? He can just go like that. And now your body is being taken over by a Kryptonian, which Kryptonian is with um, Lana, which... Uh, Clark's uh, Kal-El's mother said that Kryptonians are not bad people. We're actually good people. So it's kind of contradicting itself at the same time, too. But everybody that seems to be wailing inside the Eradicator, or, or in, in, in this case, not talking about crazy, are, 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 are all nuts. wanting Kry Krypton to come back. Yeah. That's, that's understandable, but that doesn't seem, I mean, unless these are all the, the ones who were found by who? Talro? Could uh, be. Morgan Edge's father. father. Yeah. Is it Zeta Ro? Zeta Ro. Who. who like handpicked everybody that was going to go inside the eradicator pill to 
to be kind of villainous or bad. It, it feels odd, except for except for Clark's mom. That feels she's in odd. there too. Yeah, she's in there too. So I, I so in this episode, I I assume that when when we saw him and you know he was doing some menacing stuff, that his her his mom was going to take over Lana's body again. You know what I mean? And and help her son. Mm-hmm. That didn't happen. So I'm like, okay, maybe maybe she's inside the Eradicator for real then. But it's like. What's going on here? I'm thinking maybe the fortress is going to the cave of fortress is going to awaken and help, um, you know, uh, Kal-El out. But that has not happened. You know what I mean? So it's like, what's going on here? How is how is this guy doing that? I mean, he's more powerful right now. He absorbs so much the sun radiation. He is more uh-huh. powerful than even Superman himself. Also, here's here's another thing as far as the eradicator goes. Wasn't wasn't Morgan Edge's father in the crystal? Yes. So how did he end up in the Eradicator if he was in the crystal the whole time? I thought the crystal was the crystal wasn't destroyed. No, don't don't no, Kalel has it. Clark Kalel has has the crystal still. So, so how I, so how does how does in the end of this episode it's contradicting itself, bro. is where it's Jonathan is taken by uh, by Morgan Edge. Only 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 and way then he becomes his father. So the only way I can say this is is, is possible. Is that inside the Eradicator the first time that his father and other other Kryptonians that that they knocked out our essence was still inside that eradic- that that uh, that stone? Because remember the mom she said um, Laura said that you once we do this the, all their the energy will go in basically inside. So I'm guessing when the explosion hit that the other Kryptonians went inside, including him. Now Clark did have uh, the crystal. Mm-hmm. Now I can, only thing like I said, only thing I can mostly go by is his essence. Is already inside his son mm-hmm. that he put already in him, or he was also a, a tibbet inside the Eradicator. I mean, I'm looking at it, and and of course there, there's the budget again. We're going back to the eyes, the the, the ocular vision is back, and just like just crazy seeing that he's now inside of Jonathan just feels so weird. Yeah, I buy, I buy him taking his son. And then implanting a Kryptonian in there, but, but not the father. I don't. I just maybe this could have been the time Zod where you showed put up. Zod in. Yeah, that, that, I, I I thought the same thing. I this, thought this, this is the time the Zod moment. because the thing is, we know Zod tried to take over uh, Superman, which is stupid because that that would never happen. But the thing is, but it did. We would you would expect that Zod, you know, when he you know pushed him out of his body, that he would have went back to the eradicator or whatever and then you could say like okay now zod has opportunity to get back at superman Mm -hmm. and we didn't even get that you know what i'm saying the father like why like i didn't i I don't i don't understand that either like i mean or another or not even that you're not even using a father you could use another person that is is that kryptonian or something else that is taking over that is way more powerful than anybody else this this could have been one of the even one of those moments where they really did work with the creators of the comic or or somebody who in in dc and was like can we just make up some kryptonian right now and just kind of give him some sort of brief glimpse backstory where they just in the episodes like yeah he's this strong or whatever he worked alongside zod some blah 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 that just made it fitting where he could be in this position to at least be some sort of villain this is well, he's the worst of he's, he's even worse than zod of kryptonians we locked him up and put him inside the eradicator for a reason that would have made more sense like he's been around for so long and he basically hate uh, mankind and he hate other kryptonians and he wants he wants to take it over. he wants to, if he's going to get kryptonians he wants to make this of his own image that would have made more sense of having someone else a set of the father a set of zod which i don't understand why and then explain to you know, Morgan Edge is gone. You know, I'm, I, I felt Morgan Edge is still in, inside. It's just that the voices are taking over him. It's, it's, a, it's a lot of voices, man. It's you a can, lot of voices. You can definitely get drowned out in there. It's, it's a very, very tough thing. One more episode. I'm not still, and I haven't been convinced as far as this, this portion of the, the story goes. Uh, I've lived with, you took out Lex, you've given us Morgan Edge. I'm totally fine with, okay, we've got him being the villain now but how things are going about it just i still can't completely buy it that this person even if he is also kryptonian is on superman's level that that's the tough part for me still as as a a villain i'm 
just not convinced about it. Are you convinced? No, no, I haven't been convinced at all about this. Um, I don't even know why they even use another uh, darker Kryptonian in the first place. I, like, you could use anybody else, or you could have made up another character instead of using a, another Kryptonian with his power set. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, another issue that I had too was uh, there was a situation where, um, where they found out it was Lois and John Henry Irons and um Superman, and um. There was a situation where they were looking into uh, the fact about Mark, where Morgan Edge is. Uh -huh. And um, we have Superman now. I feel like when Clark Kent is Clark Kent, of course I understand that he listened to Lois and everything like that. Because are, we talk, are we talking about uh, before Morgan Edge uh, came out to the world and was in Metropolis? Or are we talking? Well, I'm talking about when he escaped. Okay. When so he escaped, he, when he they he were looking for him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got yeah. you. Um, when she basically said, like, well, we need to find him. We need to find him. Um, you know, we get uh, John Henry Irons and everything. Like, well, um, I can't find him on a globe. Mm -hmm. Superman says, well, you know, I, I looked all around the world. Can't find him. Um, and she tells Superman. Now, like I said, Clark Kent is one thing. That's her husband. You know, Lois, Lois Lane is uh, controlling mm -hmm. and everything like that. But when he's Superman, you can't tell Superman what to do. You cannot tell Superman. That's the part I don't like, even if it's her husband or not. When he's Superman, totally different person. You cannot tell Superman um, well, you're going here. I need to go with you. I don't care. I need to go with you. Nah, Superman would have told her automatically, which which I which I felt like he was quiet and he just looked and and if grand, granddad was talking. I felt like Superman should have told her, no, you're not going with me. It's too dangerous. Um, and you could get hurt. You know what I mean? Compared to okay, like basically, if grand if the if uh granddad didn't say nothing, he probably would have took her. And I wasn't feeling that. That's the part I did not feel. Her telling him what to do. Okay. When you Clark, yeah. Superman, no. Well, speaking of folks telling people to do what to do, we got the town now trying to tell the DOD that they need to get out. Shout out to Lois. DOD holds Smallville hostage. Lois ain't and shit. In this situation, damn, now you're back on that train again. Jeez, I didn't man. cut. I didn't say what that, but I'm like, she, you know, she, she I didn't use no B words or nothing. I'm just no, saying. No, she, no, she, no, she, she, she. Man, she's caught in, in in the middle of the situation right now. She's trying to keep her family safe and at the same time still be an, an objective reporter. She's said she can't do that, so she's given that up to her editor in charge, boss, allowing her to handle the she situation. She shouldn't have said nothing. I, I feel like she shouldn't have said anything because the simple fact that's that the granddad worse. already said, I, there's someone that's going to come out, that's PR going to come out, tell what, like somewhat, not everything. Lois basically told majority of everything mm -hmm. and that's something that he said that there will be a problem you will have panic you will have issues going on people will be more angrier than what they are now and what she said happened she did it this she, is true lois lane basically to me in this bro is she has her good moment and she has her bad moment and this is one of the dumbest moments right this is her dumb moment right here because she basically made chaos happen in smallville <sighs> morgan edge started may, may have lit the flame but she had she had put the log on a fire to make it even rise even more. I'm going to put more on Miss Powell right here because a lot of this could have actually been resolved earlier if it wasn't for Miss Powell. Now, the DOD papa over there, he's decided that, okay, I'm going to go to the town hall meeting. I'm going to do as best as I can to, to get them to calm down, give them some sort of an idea of when we'll be out of here, and to let them know, hey, we're not trying to take the town over. We understand this is a bad situation and everything. But then you got Miss Powell coming in here, and what does she do? She says, no, you guys are not telling us the truth. Let me tell you what happened to my son. Here's the crazy thing about that. <laughs> Lois tried to get you to tell her what was going on with her son. And then when your son mysteriously popped back in, you were like, you know what? Things are okay. We don't have to talk about it anymore. I've got my son back. Everything is good. And then what happens? Your son ends up going crazy and haywire, blows up a building, has an altercation with Superman, ends up blowing himself up, and now you want to come to the DOD and say, DOD, it's your fault. This is all on you. No, it's not. You prevented Lois from actually doing something to actually help the town, and now they are in an even worse predicament. You got people in Smallville who can't work. Jobs are being closed down. Even the Smallville Gazette is yeah. being affected. They were trying who to came, buy it. Who <laughs> came to you in the first place to actually get the story going so that what Morgan Edge did 
And what Lois said Morgan Edge would do would not happen. But now here we are in Smallville, as well as they're trying to blame one of the keep it, but that's Let's true. keep it a buck. Even though, like, you know, I have my... I, I like Lois and I don't. I have my issues with her sometimes. Uh huh. Cause but you know, my thing is this though. Lois ain't black. I understand. Nah, oh, shut up. <laughs> yeah, she was a black reporter. You have a nah, 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 nah. Um, the um the Smallville uh, Gazette mm -hmm. wouldn't be nothing without Lois Lane. They nobody wouldn't even care what the what the, the reporter or or basically the newspaper is. If Lois didn't ever join, nobody wouldn't give a damn. Cause she even said it when she first in the, in the beginning of it. I'm a small newspaper. Nobody really knows about us. Lois put there on the map. Well, they still haven't even necessarily been put on the map just yet, even though Lois is there. But I, I, get, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Lois, Lois has the cachet. Lois is the name now of the small village. Exactly. Even though she's being humbly to saying I'm the reporter and everything like that. That's I, why. Where you're coming that, that's why when she told Lois about, you know, what, and the last one about, you know, she had to fire her and let her go. Mm -hmm. That's nothing to Lois Lane. Lois Lane can call anybody up right now and get her and get and get a job because Absolutely. her credit is like beyond. Just like just like Clark Kent, Clark Kent can call anyone and get his, get someone because his credit is up there. She has no credit. You know what I'm saying? She if you fire if you say I fired Lois Lane, why? Because she wouldn't tell the truth. Exactly. That's she, Lois Lane. She, you serious? This, she's Lois Lane, and you tell him you fire her, you're she dumb. Is definitely not a Dennis Schroeder. She can actually bet on herself, and she'll be taken care of. Facts. Do you know who Dennis Schroeder is? No, I don't. Okay, I just knew. I just but I just said facts. I just knew you was gonna go <laughs> along with it. It's okay. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, no, People no. in the comments and chats, everybody knows what's going on. With that. Yeah, so it's, don't worry. It's sports stuff. Okay. So so I feel like I felt like when she did that, it was like that. But I felt that's why I said Lois didn't have to tell her anything. I get that she's a reporter and the truth has to come out. But there's there's things in this truth that you can't. When you it's different between you and a reporter and you are. Like you know, you're reporting the news, you're catching up, but the difference is, this is your family. Yeah, this is the these this this can really hurt your husband. This mm -hmm. can really hurt a, a big situation, even with your son. Mm -hmm. There's some things you cannot say. Mm -hmm. You cannot give information to someone that 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 is that can be very valuable to hurt your family. And that's what her father her, her father was telling her. You can ruin a lot of situations that's going on. Yeah. you can make people in Smallville really well, they're already upset about the Morgan Edge situation. They never really wouldn't really, really went by Morgan Edge in the first place if she didn't say anything about it. They knew that that Edge was 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 doing, you know, bringing jobs and all the other crap, but they didn't know about Morgan Edge doing it until Lois came out and spoke up about Morgan Edge. You know what I mean? If they never did it, they would have just thought like, oh, something happened in Smallville. Maybe something these people were got, you know, or uh, the, you know, they know that people got powers out of nowhere. Maybe something uh -huh. happened or they, they was, you know, kidnapped or something. But they never would have known that it was Morgan Edge. So because of that, even though the Kushners have Cushings, gotcha. the Cushings, my bad, the Cushings had uh, a lot of bad, you know, bad situations. You know, people want them out. They write and get out. Mm -hmm. Get out of Smallville. We don't like you. Get out of here. And they're talking about moving out. Because this family is hurting the most right now. And and, and, and and the thing is, though, Kyle, it is his fault because Lois was trying to explain to him. But it's Lois' fault that, the, that they are hated because nobody would have known about Morgan Edge if Lois didn't give old girl that information. I can't say it's his fault, man. It's not. I'm, I'm, I mean, it's his fault I, when she. It's his, his fault because he didn't listen to what I she was trying to explain to him. It's his fault, but that's that's just tough to say. It's completely in his fault. I mean, if you if you are a part of the city, and you have someone who you feel is going to be able to bring money and jobs and things, you're going to try your best to to get those people in there. But also, will and look especially more, since you don't necessarily, you, you can say you can look more into it. Yeah, but it's Morgan Edge. This is a big. Uh, conglomerate it's an organization he's got lawyers and things cover-ups all up the wazoo he it's not just gonna come out that this and things all of that she stuff found out. it she found those things <laughs> lois found just, those just things, by just by still, looking this but, shit on, on a regular still, computer but, but still <laughs> it wasn't enough for smallville and for kyle to say you know what we shouldn't do anything with yeah, this. So yeah. it still wasn't enough and still knowing that for them as a small town the positives offset what she is calling the negative especially since it's big organization company with money and things like that versus you just a journalist who's saying they're bad and you're not going to bring anything into our town. Yeah. So he's hurting now. And you said family. They're definitely the, the family that is hurting the most. Nobody cares. They, they hate, oh, they oh, hate they, them. They, that, I, they I, care. That's why they hate them. The, the, the cool part about it, it's though, is like, I hate that. The fact that everybody's blaming the, the Cushings, right? Mm -hmm. And they're not blaming themselves either. Of course You know not. what I'm saying? They need, they need a scapegoat and the, and the Cushings are them. But not even that. What I don't like is <laughs> Clark Kent ain't have not spoke up to the to the town and let them know Lana 
and them are good people. They've been here for so many years. You guys are wrong for what you're doing. He have not spoke up yet. Well, this is technically the first town hall he's actually made. Right. The second one, the first one he was supposed to go. He, he couldn't. There. We understand that, though. But but he wasn't going to say anything in regards to the Cushing's anyway. He would have been trying to help out Lois. Right, 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 right. But but it's like he, she even said it even before then. She said, the town needs you. You are basically, your mom was like, you know, the big the big shot. Everybody looked up to her. So they, they're they going to look up the same for you. They have so much mm-hmm. respect for you. You have to say something. He said, okay. And then the situation happened. But he still have not spoke up. He still have not trying to uh, do that. It's like, I love L.A., right? And say say I'm a big factor of, of L.A., you know what I'm saying, um, for the most part. And even though, you know, New York is where I'm at, he, he where loves, I'm at. New York he, is he, all he day loves, where I'm at. Brooklyn, lo- all day where I'm at. Yeah, yeah. He, lo- he loves <laughs> New York and his water. Uh, so so let's let's break it down. Um, I'm gonna literally if I'm if I'm known say this is a small town and I'm known like this, and a situation happens, I'm gonna speak up because mm-hmm. the people the people needs to hear, you know, uh, the not say the truth, but they need to hear something that someone that who understands them compared to someone who doesn't. You know what I mean? I'm gonna let the people know like about them and about the about what's going on. You know, like 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 the, for instance, so you're, with so the you're, Morgan so situation. You're saying, like, like Clark should have been more relatable to them. Yes, he should have been. He should have been a little bit that, more, that's more not, into that's it. Still not gonna work, E, because what did Clark do? He left. I mean, he so, had to leave. So, no, no, he didn't have to leave. He well, chose, I mean, he left. He, he had to cho- leave because he chose to leave to to, to grow and do. Oh, you talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, 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 he's yeah. not. Kyle's already said you ain't. You're not Smallville anymore. So Clark could try to say something, and even though he's got uh, the whole town respect him, the Kents behind him because yeah. of how he was raised and everything, and how they respect his mom. That that's still not going to be enough for them. Well, I mean, for the Kushners, for the Cushings is one thing, but the whole town has so much respect for Clark Kent. The name is long. Even they knew him since he was a boy. He grew up with them. They have so much respect. Even when he came back, oh my God, Clark, you're back! They were so ha- happy and excited. Have you actually seen? Uh, I mean, outside of the chair, I mean the uh, the uh, the bench that was dedicated to his mom. Right. Where have you seen like the respect for him? The restaurant. When he was in the restaurant. Remind me, refresh. When me. he was in the restaurant, um, the the Asian chick, the one who um, who went to Morgan Edge, who got you know basically taken over. Uh-huh. Emily, yeah. Emily, and then the the cop who came in there, um, the 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 guy, the cook, okay. the, the cook that knew him. They all when they saw him when he was walking when he was walking down the street. They all was they all I mean, was okay, walking sure. him back. They, they, they knew him. Right. Yeah, they was all walking him they back. They was happy respect, that he came back. They said, "Oh, look, it's, you know, we we happy uh, that you know you came back." So that's why I said that's why I said that he has the respect, and that's why Lois said that you have to come because I'm an outsider, but you are. Um, yeah, he still has some connection. Yeah, you yeah, have him. connection. You have more connection. This is your home. Yeah, I got that. Compared got that. to me, I'm I'm from Metropolis, and you're from Smallville. So it's like. It's a lot of things that he ha- he could have done. Mm-hmm. Now I get that some things he can't because the world is in danger. He has to go. But when the times that the world is not, he could have spoke up. He could have had uh, something at, at the house. He could have had something at Lana's house. Mm-hmm. He could when Lana had something at her house. You know the situation probably didn't go down like that. But it's so many things that it could could have happened that they that he could that he didn't do. And that's the part that like I'm seeing. I get that Clark Kent has has a secret identity. Mm-hmm. He doesn't. He can't be Superman, but he can be Clark Kent. Speaking up, speaking, uh, telling the people, letting them know, like this is, you know, my mom and pa. You know, I grew up here. You know, this was the best place to be. You know, um, he, everybody knows that Clark was adopted, and they, you know, this was the best, you know, town to be at. Everybody, you know, show me respect here. You know, love. You know, it was, you know, besides my mom and pa, all you guys are family, and okay. you know, um, I feel that. I think that having Morgan Edge or, you know, anyone here before we have that, we need to look down and see what's going on. I understand that, it's, you know, I haven't been here in a while. I understand that you guys are going through hard times. Well, but I feel I'm a, like I'm going to just knock you down real, real hard right now. <laughs> All right. OK. All I, right. I, I don't want to. But, you know, I'm, hey, go ahead. I, go ahead. I'm, I'm stronger than you and everything like that. I just <laughs> want you to know that this guy right here in a conversation with his wife said, uh, Friends don't put money on the table. They don't put food in your mouth. That's pretty much what he said. So as much as Clark is, is there 
anything that he says, uh, again, nice. It's a cool little nod and everything, but he ain't there. And even though they're friends and yeah. you got the Smallville connection, he ain't putting food on the, in, the, in the accounts. He ain't putting, f- I mean, food on the table or money in the accounts. He's not doing that. So that's true. I mean, I give you that. That's, 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 that's going to be tough. I give you that. I, I, I get where you're coming from, though, but it's, it's just a, a, a situation where but he knows. But but the thing what is, though, is, what's doing what's right doesn't necessarily always help. Right, right. But the thing is, though, Clark Kent name is huge. Where to the point where in, in the town of Smallville, in, in, in town of Smallville, it's, it's, and, 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 and even in Metropolis, big and small Metropolis, they, you know, not as big as Lois, but it's big. So, and Clark Kent has connections. Let's, let's get that. There's so many people that he could have, you know, Please in a situation. Don't say that, I, I ain't going to say. I ain't gonna all say. you did was make me think of Falcon. So don't, don't say connections. <laughs> I know a guy, okay? We don't need connections. <laughs> we don't need he those got, problems he here. Connections and those connections or whatever could have bought more stuff that's to the town. He didn't even know the town was even doing that bad. He knew that it was a small town, but he didn't know that, that the small was doing that bad. So I felt like he could have did a little bit more. Well, you could still technically say it wasn't doing that bad. But now that the damage has been done by Morgan Edge, it's doing horrible. Nobody, wanna, no, but nobody, no, nobody wants to really. Horrible. First of all, no one knows in Metropolis, not even other cities, because they even caught, they even said California in this, in this too. <laughs> nobody knows in, the, in, these, in these states or in these towns about what's going on in Smallville. Mm-hmm. Nobody knows. No investor knows. Nobody knows about it. They know who Morgan Edge is, and they see it. You know, everything is going on, but nobody knows exactly what's going on. When we found out what was happening is when Morgan Edge was in, I think that was Metropolis, right? When he was in Metrop- Metropolis. Yeah, that was Metropolis. When he was in Metropolis, and uh, everything was go- when it was going down. But other than that, they did not know. Now all the former colleagues are, are like, oh, my goodness, something is going on with Morgan Edge. Lois happens to be there. Superman is there. How was Edge? There was people was looking. How is he flying? Oh, that, that tell another, they're, they're all in disbelief. Like, yeah, yeah. All these, all these companies Edge. looking like, what the hell? Ain't he no he been an alien the whole time. Now, what did you think about? Uh, what did you think about that whole scene anyway? Uh, well, when, uh, uh, first of all, um, when I see that you know Superman and um, John Henry Irons, you know, get there and they see that you know Morgan Edge and everything that was going on, it it when it was like, okay, you know, we see that. Well, why is he floating up in the air and he just stopped like that? And old girl is just you know sitting there talking about okay now the time has come, mm-hmm. and then you know we get them he's that we about to get them to take off and then he literally says a word and they all fly up. I'm like how the hell? Wait a minute. I'm like wait a minute. Let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. Mm-hmm. The eradicator that uh, Laura made. Um, I love this shot by the way. Um, I think that was a very good. <laughs> it was, it, this was a very blast. Good callback right here it blast. Every, it, 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 they said it was a, a blast from a radius, so the energy like it went, you know, for a long for for a long while. So wherever Morgan Edge was at, wherever people was at, if they was hit with the Kryptonian energy, that was that was going. Mm-hmm. When, how, and where did he have the opportunity to turn these people into mindless Kryptonians? Well, remember it didn't. He take- was in the cage. <laughs> I mean, when an old girl didn't have no power to do it. When, when he was locked up, he escaped. He absorbs all the power from the sun. Comes back, uh, frees Leslie Lar. Leslie Lar and now uh, Morgan Edge are in Metropolis. And I mean, in between that time, from them figuring out something that was going on. And him being a metropolis, he could have found a couple of people to boop, bop, bibbity bap, <laughs> Cinderella, Cinderella. But I mean, it. The whole thing is just that they're just showing us that he's he's now got the power to just go on ahead without the machine and and do it. I get it. You're not convinced in buying it. That's what we got. <laughs> and then we get That's what we got. We get a. Uh <laughs> we get Clark and uh, the battles. The, I mean, the fights though. The were fights good. was good. They they, they the put the respect back the on Superman during this. I, we've had multiple scenes where he ends up getting beat. He's on his back. He's not really holding, holding back. Holding back. And now all of a sudden, oh, thanks, Lily Gamer. If you are on my screen, I will destroy you later. <laughs> the fact is that he was fighting these these humans, these metropolis people Mindless who Kryptonians. have now been taken over by Kryptonians. And he took that one person 
And he literally, he gave them one punch and they were actually one down. Punch, like, yes, one punch, super one punch. One punch, that's what we needed. Yeah. Had to take on two more, took them down inside the, the, the riverbank over there. Took I wish I would have saw a little bit good. more of that while they was in the, underwater, though, because when he went down in the water and he, they, 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 the girl was punching him in his face and he had the guy and water. they went down. And when, they, when he went straight down in that water, bro, I would have mm-hmm. loved to see that fight. I would have loved to see that fight of, of him uh, I mean, I thought beating was, the hell out of him. I thought that we were going to get a little bit more there, too. But, you know, they had to actually make sure that they gave us a little bit of the John Henry Irons portion, yeah, too, I, I, which, I, was, which was cool. Which was, it was cool. It, it was, it was cool. cool. But he it, was getting his ass work. He was getting yeah, his ass I mean, work. But I mean, he, was, he was handling his own, though. It was, but it was, pro- it was proper, though. It was like, okay, yeah, the suit is essentially a deterrent. It don't make him stronger, even though it made him seem like he was on the same level as Superman in the earlier episode. episode yeah, yeah, two. yeah, 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 yeah. Finally, we're like, okay, he's dealing with people with Kryptonians. Nah, the suit was just like, yo, dog, I got 60% left in me. We're losing. I've got 59. Where is the I hammer? I need oh, the hammer. What's going on, man? The hammer is, is, le- is no power. My hammer ain't even working. Where, what, what you mean it ain't no power? Come, yo, yo, hammer lost his Bluetooth connection. I was like, oh, that's hilarious. No, I need the hammer. I need the hammer. He needs the hammer. You know how I kept going to the hammer? I'm like, is is John finna come with that hammer for me? With, is a, a George, is is uh you know uh Jonathan finna come with that hammer from because he kept he kept talking about the hammer situation when he said like oh I can lift it before he like oh it's more powerful now you can't mm-hmm. lift it anymore, but I'm like is, was he about to because he kept showing it and I'm like is he about to come and help him or something but we see that didn't happen but it's just like I was just like what's going on here like now the hammer not working the suit I'm like okay when we gonna get to this steel suit because the ha- the suit that he had he's put more modifications on the suit I want to see that S on that chest with that that armor. And I want to see that that new, that that red cape that he got. You know, he I would like symbolized to see that too, but I don't. I don't. It doesn't feel like it's necessarily going to fit within how they're they're laying it out. They're not, I, I would love to see that. They're not laying it out as John Henry Irons is Superman. They're, well, he they're, called himself Steel. He said, "I'm the yeah, real he, man of Steel." So he is, he is Steel, but I don't think they're going to put that S on there. I don't. I don't know. Maybe because of the, the daughter's emblem over here, that might become the thing. Who knows? I'm not completely sure. But definitely what they gave us in Metropolis, the action there, I think since we hadn't seen it in a while and we, we got reminded again of who Superman is and some of the action that is in the show that can be absolutely amazing was, was very good to end It was tasteful. It was very tasteful. Before we got to that. Yeah, it was very tasteful. I like... Uh, uh, this, this right here is... It's nuts. It's still... I mean, it, it looks nice. It's colorful. It's blue and everything. So, uh, folks, let's get to this. And, get and to I think it's it. also just like... He's not. He's not talking anymore. That. That's. That's what Morgan Edge was. Yeah, all the voices talking for him. Now all these. <laughs> there you go. All these voices are talking for him. So anything that. That. That kind of made, the character Morgan Edge a threat or someone he you could probably fall in love with as a villain. It's now all gone. He's just. Let's get him. I don't know what I'm saying. We have to get him. You're Turn the Kryptonians. We have to get the Kryptonian power it's, back. It's, it's, <laughs> It's a little bit tough. I I do like some of the little little designs they got with the face and everything. The cracks, the cracks on his skin and things. I'm I'm cool with the name, the Eradicator. I just still can't completely buy. Into I'm glad it. they show some blood though, because I, I'm you know I know uh, they have DC do, does does that, but I'm glad they didn't you know they didn't do any other craziness. Maybe I saw that, but I didn't really because uh, when when this fool came down. First of all, I, I, this is my question. Oh, you're talking how, about the car? Yeah, yeah. How okay, the okay, okay. freak? How the freak did he find him that quick he found him the granddad picked him up from the um from the party oh come on all right take her home and they driving da 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 next thing you know wham where did he find him at did he sense did he sits uh jordan's power or some some ain't right how did he find him that quick <laughs> did he hear that voice something ain't right he found him super quick he left he left from fighting Superman it's and went to Jordan. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sure. I, I. I mean, you. You making a good. A good point. I'm not sure. It wasn't something that I, I actually thought about during the, the episode, but it does. It does. It does speak a little bit. But you know, maybe his ears are a little bit more sensitive. I could. And I, then, I could try to help solve this, but I don't want to. And help then. Solve and then. And then the, the the gun situation. Like he, Jonathan Jordan. Oh, the kryptonite yeah, bullet. The, he, you only got one shot. And he take off. How did he take off that? <laughs> he's got suit. No, no, come on. He now. got more power he's, now no, because no, no. he got he's, more he's power. Because Superman super would have got hit with no, that. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I mean, based on on the episodes we've seen, I can't deny that 
Superman would have possibly been hit. But I ain't going to say he would have got threw hit. it out. He would have been like, this ain't nothing. He wouldn't, he wouldn't have, <laughs> no, and he only, he only took the bullets that we saw earlier is because he was saving Tag's life. Yeah, yeah, that's but, true. That's true. But come on now. He's Kryptonian. Come on. We, we could... Faster than a speed he, bullet. We, come on, you can't. You can't. It was not blue. It, blue it was bluer energy though when he come didn't on, take man, off. No, still, no we, we not he had a force field. Do How to get a force field, do that to him, man? <laughs> he, he had a force field. Kryptonian is still faster than speed and bullets. That's true. That's that. true. But he had. A, but that. But that wasn't a regular speed and bullet. That was an energy bullet. <laughs> that was an energy bullet. That uh, that was. I was pure energy. That was crazy to me. No, but it wasn't. It was a. It was a kryptonite bullet that was all it was it wasn't something super special he said the it was green and when he said yeah, you gotta cock just, it back and when it said yeah, and when he shot it, it he said ain't no more he said you only got one nah, shot <laughs> you nah, only got one nah, shot no 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 this it wasn't like that it but like but that. overall though i mean um i i liked it um, I like how you know how how you see him a little bit more darker, like a darker tone to it. Okay, I can um, that. more. Um, you know, definitely uh, serious. Yeah, really serious because it's like that whole situation. You know, and then we get you get the whiner baby. You know, getting snatched up. I love you, <laughs> snatch. Like I'm like I wasn't expecting for that. My my whole expectation was he was coming for either Jonathan or he was coming for both of them. Oh no, he was you definitely know? he was definitely. It's like, Definitely he had his target. His Jordan. target was with Jordan. Jonathan was never his target. It had to be Jordan. I Jonathan think hadn't shown. If anything, both of them, but definitely Jordan. Jonathan hasn't shown or displayed anything. He tried to hit him with the laser. Yeah, yeah, I don't like, like that. No. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. I mean, th this this is a perfect time, and I, and I hope they're getting there. Is like close to the end. Is that a perfect time? Where no, stop trying to get your predictions right. No. Jonathan, no, gets no. his powers. No, no, no. And I think it's coming. No. If it's, <laughs> I hope they make no. a season of this. No. I don't believe the it. The Winer Baby should not be the one that, I feel like, I feel like, as they say, crisis happened and then things change after that, 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 uh, that this fool, uh, Jordan is Superboy Prime and his brother gonna have to stop him. You know what I mean? Like, like, I think he gonna be, I already said it, folks, this fool is gonna be a villain. This fool is going to be a villain. All right. This is I, me. This is me right now listening to E. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to see it. Let me okay. use the use the force. No. Use the force. <laughs> but with that, we're gonna end this spoiler review for episode 14. We got another episode left. Yeah, we Hopefully do. they end on a really big really bang. good, really good. BG4 and your e. boy E. We are heading out right Two now. Parts. Anything you want to tell them right now? Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Show that love for the JC family. You know what I'm saying? Um, let, let me and BG4 know what you think. You like it, you don't like it. Let us know what you think. Uh, also, too, we go live uh, Fridays at 5 to 10. Check us out. We'll be there. Enjoy. Fight us in the comments.